Hi, my name is Chris from Brooklyn, New York, and this is my 77 GMC Tranquility. What made me build this van? Back in 1979, I was probably 12 years old, and I went on a van run, the Adirondack Nationals, with my cousin who had the same exact identical van. And I loved the van, but I was 12, so I wasn't driving no time soon. He sold it in around 81. It got destroyed, demolished, and I said, I'm gonna build a duplicate one day. And about 10 years ago, I found a van out in Oregon that was a California life van, so it had no rust. It was a Contempo van, but it was used for flea markets. So I got it back to my shop. I gutted it, and I did it all over. I got a Nettlebrock 383 stroker in it. I got a monster overdrive transmission. I got a Posi rear in it. And I did everything myself, except for the mural. I did all the graphics, all the cobwebbing, everything you see except for the mural. And that's about it. Well, you got the pipes on there, I see. What, what are those? Those are thrush. I found them for about $100, and then I had them re-chromed. They're fully operable. They have the pipe inside, so they're real deal. Have on here the Goodrich, uh... Goodrich, I got eights in the back and sevens in the front. Mm -hmm. These vans originally LRP did sevens and sevens, but I wanted a little bigger, so I put the eights. And um, this is all candy apple blue with red cobwebbing, regular basic white, and then this is just your muddy Bob Ross LRP murals they did in the 70s. Very nice. Thank you. Got you. The, the bubble windows back here. Bubble windows on the side, just like they did it with the back. This is a duplicate to what my cousin did. Yeah. And when I sent the pictures of it, he asked me, how did you get pictures of my van? Because that was gone by mid-80s. I said, it's my van. And he didn't believe me until I showed him a <laughs> live video of it. Nice. Wow, how about that? Let's see if we can get over here and get a shot of this side. Basically the same thing, right? Same exact. The only... There ain't no differences. Exactly the way it was built yep. is the way I duplicated it off of two pictures. Wow. This is just hot rod black with white stripes around it. I got the tow package with the cooler. Like I said, it's a, it's a beefy motor. And I did the visor, period correct. The bubble top, period correct. Everything on this van is period correct. I got the two sunken antennas, oh, both sides. Frenched in. Yep, Frenched in. Yep, Frenched in. And it's a 2500, but I put a lowering spring in the front to bring it down a little. Now, I might be mistaken, but I believe those are Dodge. Uh, no, they are not. They're not Dodge mirrors? Those are Chevy. No kidding. Oh, GM, I should say, GM mirrors. Oh, yeah. You know what? I see it now. Let's see the difference. Yep. They're very, very similar. And when I built this, I found everything. I hunted for about three years for new old stock emblems, new old stock lights, new old stock mirrors, door handles, your slider door. Everything except for the moldings is new old stock. The moldings are original. Yeah. And the bumpers. All right, now what do you have? What's happening on the inside here? Inside, I got your horseshoe dinette that converts into a bed. I got your blue moon mood lights, and I got a cabinet, and I got a refrigerator. Originally, it came with a sink on top of the cabinet, oh, okay. but I didn't need the sink. And then it's got the little like bar for the bottles on top. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's a good idea, yeah. And I found, like I said, everything new old stock. All the GM mo mats, mats yeah. everything. I'll show you inside. Okay. Everything is all. Let me get a little shot back here again. Oh, yeah. A little bit of fur. You got a little fur going on. Yep, no oh, doubt. Yeah. Yep. Looks great, man. And then these two I found new old stock. I mean, like I said, this was six years ago. Today, this is very, very hard to find. Oh, yeah. Hard getting harder. Yes. If not impossible. You did the dash and all that yourself? Everything. Wow. Oh. Beautiful captain's chairs. They look nice and comfy. Yes. Originally had these barrel style seats that LRP put out, but they just, you got to be uh, 
20 years old and <laughs> able to jump around because they're uh, very tight. Mm -hmm. So these are more relaxed and they recline. The other ones didn't recline, so I put this. And I see you got the Cobra 29 LTD up there. 100%. It's operable. It works. Nice. Very cool. Now tell me a little bit about more about that. We were talking about your on your shifter, this light bulb. Like that I said, when my cousin when my cousin did, had the van, he did his little like own personal stuff, mm -hmm. and I was curious where he got it. And I tried looking up Lucite light bulbs. I couldn't find it. It was showing me everything but that style. And then I f figured, let me try a paperweight, and that's how it came up. Mm. And I duplicated it just like it was done. Very cool. Not seen that before. Thank you. Beautiful. The carpet work, everything's in it is beautiful. Everything, thank you. Absolutely. Very nice and clean. Open, you got lots of room. Yep. And that's regular ice box. Yep. What is that, Norcold? Oh, uh, I, I couldn't even tell you the name. Yeah, it's a Norcold. I think I have the same one. I believe so. It works. If I keep bikes in there, it keeps everything cold. Mm-hmm. Ceiling looks good. Very nice. Let me get in here a little bit, see if I can see. A little bit more back here. There we go. Very cool. Love it, man. Thank you. Love it. And this is a factory air conditioned van. Yeah, okay. Factory cruise control, factory delayed wipers, power steer and power brakes. Mm. Oh, very nice. Well, uh, we have to say thanks for showing it to us. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate and it. Thank you. You're going to be on JJ Lightning from now on. Thank you. Sounds good. So she'll live forever. Great. Yes, sir.